afternoon. So we will uh, be now moving. So I will hand over uh, to the uh, Harry Houghton Foundation, who are going uh, as I said, to uh, give us the results uh, of uh, this year's competition and uh, who is the winner uh, of the very first winner of the uh, Harry Houghton Prize. It's in this envelope, and I don't know who's <laughs> building Well, it's a very great honor to, uh, to be here today, and uh, many thanks to all of you, and especially to the three finalists uh, that gave their presentation yesterday. Uh, as uh, Dominique announced, I'm uh, Harry Otten. I'm uh, the founder of uh, Meteor Consult, Meteor Group, as it is called nowadays, and also I try to establish this prize to, uh, to go for innovation in meteorology. And it's called the Harry Otten Prize, but Rick Entis uh, introduces it the Hop Prize, which I believe is a much better uh, naming than uh, the full name. So what is it all about, and what do we hope to see from it? The foundation was uh, created in 2011 to encourage innovation in meteorology for the benefit of society. The main purpose is to award the Hop Prize for innovation in meteorology. The goal of this prize-winning competition is to present an idea that is innovative, practical, realizable, and brings meteorology forward in society. The prize will recognize ideas that will enable a clearly innovative contribution of meteorology to society, and that are not already being developed elsewhere. The first prize round was in 2012, and will be awarded from this year on every two years. The winner of the competition will receive 25,000 euros in cash, and it is also foreseen to grant a lower amount to the second and the third prize. Winners will retain full rights to their ideas, but when wanted, help is offered to realize the winning idea. There is a page on the website where guidance is given to what kind of ideas could have won the prize, as well as some examples of ideas that fall outside the scope of the prize. Further details are given uh, on the website, and the website will probably come up because it's too long to remember and to, uh, and to, uh, and to say it. I would like to thank the board members very, very much. They have uh, put in an awful lot of work in uh, the past months uh, to review all the proposals and to come with a conclusion. The board members are Chairman Hans Rijf from the Netherlands, I knew Hans from KNMI 30 years ago, and at about the same time we left the institute, I started my own company and Hans went to work for the Ministry of Education in the Netherlands, but we kept in contact. Dominique Marbouti from France, the AMS chairman, and uh, also during your time probably, he became a customer of ECMWF, and uh, we are still very, very proud to make extreme use of the ECMWF models. We are very proud be having done that already from the start of the company. Uh, Rick Antis uh, from uh, the United States, uh, who I know already uh, from 1980, when uh, I was privileged uh, to have a sabbatical uh, at Penn State University, and we also kept uh, one way or another in touch. And Dennis uh, Schulze, uh, our manager, uh, the Meteor Group manager in Germany, who just got many more tasks on his plate because we bought another company just two weeks ago. So I'm very glad he still can come here and is not in the Alps in Switzerland. And Jill Peters, uh, the European Weather Presenter of the Year a few years ago from Belgium, who very unfortunately for health reasons cannot be there. I'm very, very grateful to this board. Uh, it is difficult to express, but uh, I'm so proud that there is a board with, uh, with, with such capacities in it and uh, such uh, brilliant people to, uh, to work towards the ideas. And I have to emphasize, I'm neither a member of the board nor a member of the jury. I have had no influence whatsoever on who will get the prize. I, even no, I have seen the presentations of the three potential prize winners yesterday, and I have no clue who is going to win, and I didn't want to have any influence either. 2012 was the first year of the prize. At the AMS annual meeting in Lutsch, in Poland, in September, it was announced that the jury decided to not award the main prize that year. However, there were two honorable mentions. 
Felicity Aho Fianio from the Ganian Meteorological Service, bringing weather information to the doorstep of people in Ghana. And Martijn Komen from the Netherlands with his project Weather, Feathers and Frost. How was the process this year? In October 2012, the registration begins. Short proposals were being made, brief concepts of ideas to be submitted at that time. At the 10th of March of this year, the registration closed. A total of 19 proposals from 12 different countries, Algeria, Finland, France, India, Italy, Israel, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Switzerland, Sweden, Switzerland, and the USA were submitted. Topics included ideas for new instruments, ideas for applications from satellites and aircraft, and several ideas for new apps for smartphones to improve the forecast up to several hours ahead. On the 25th of March this year, the first selection round was uh, made with a pre-selection. The 19 proposals were evaluated against the completeness of the registration and the price criteria. Six semi-finalists were selected, and in April, each semi-finalist received a set of questions for additional information from the jury. And on the 11th of June 2013, the second evaluation round was held and there was a selection of the three finalists. And after a thorough discussion, the jury selected the three finalists. The next round will be next year. How can you admit, uh, submit applications? What are the deadlines? And what is the uh, encouragement to submit, to, to submit an ID? The next prize will be awarded in 2015 at the AMS meeting that is being held from the 7th until the 10th of September in the capital of Bulgaria, Sofia. The announcement and the process and deadlines for submitting ideas will be posted on the website. And now, the introduction. Let me introduce to you the three finalists and the summary of their ideas. And I would ask you to come forward here. So, Carl. Uh, Carolina and gert -Jan. I don't, I don't hope that you stand too much today, uh, because you've got a title. Well, uh, a brief description. Uh, everything I read is being written by the board, and uh, so it is their ordeal what, uh, uh, what is in there. Karl Eggestad from Oslo in Norway works at Weather One in Norway. Weather One develops software that is used to create weather shows for broadcast and digital media and uh, you have been doing that already for more than 20 years now. The, your idea is that uh, you would like to build a global weather alliance, the weather share service, and you gave a presentation about it yesterday. The second one is Gert-Jan Steenveld from the University of Wageningen, and he submitted his ID together with Bert Heusingveld and Kevin Damman, uh, and uh, Bert uh, Heusingveld is also from the University of Wageningen, whereas Kevin Damman is from the University of Groningen, from the University Medical Center, Hanseplein in the Netherlands. And his idea is, and that is of course typically Dutch, forecasting and mapping ice sickness for ice skating on natural lakes and canals, to just avoid the E-word. Uh, and the E-word, that is the uh, Elfstedentocht, uh, the main, the big ice skating tour that was held for the last time in 1996. It? Yes, January 1996. And the third one is Karolina Stanislawska. She is from Poland and currently working at the Finnish Meteorological Office. And her idea is to use social media much more for meteorological prediction and meteorological information. These three ideas demonstrate a large variety of potential ideas that were submitted. I would like to present you with some flowers. Yes. Some flowers. And some more flowers. I, I, I hope that you, that you can still put them in the hotel room. And, uh, <laughs> and or to look great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, now I'm going to ask you to sit again. <laughs> And now I come to the moment, for me also, it's a very tense moment, I'm really a little bit nervous now to open this envelope because I really don't know what it is going to tell. The prize winner for 2013 is Carolina. You can, uh, we will do the ceremony a little bit later. You still can sit and, and listen to me, and then we're going to take pictures. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so the winner is Karolina Stanislavska for her, for her ID, Social Media for Meteorological Prediction and Information. The board believes, we believe, that her ID is highly innovative with significant potential benefits to society. These benefits include both use of people to provide weather data and information to meteorologists through the social media, as well as information on how society reacts to weather information and forecasts for meteorologists. The jury encourages further development of this ID by creating a simple example of an end-to-end -end system that demonstrates how the ID can be implemented in practice. Karolina Stanislawska was born in Poland and graduated in computer science at Poznan University of Technology in 2011. She currently works as a researcher in climate modeling and greenhouse gases topics for the Finnish Meteorological Institute in Helsinki. Her idea for the social media for meteorological prediction and information is to construct a meteorological system based on the information extracted exclusively from the social media content. The system would be a service providing information about current weather conditions, <coughs> trends and forecasts. The steps leading towards the final product would include fetching a real-time uh, content stream from social media services, for instance Twitter, Extracting the relevant data from the stream using keyword parsing and classifiers. Building a knowledge base from the extracted data, taking into account possible fuzzy relationships between them. Applying a machine learning technique, possibly genetic programming, to detect cause-effects relationships and use obtained rules to project the current state to the future to get a forecast and preparing an automatically updated map of weather conditions to be presented to end users. The creation of the system would be at the same time a broad research on the potential of social media for natural phenomena anticipation. The state of art methods for data classifying and forecast building could be used in further applications. Please come forward. to their bank account uh, also. And, and, and I guess you will get this in the next few days, so. <laughs> <laughs> when you come back to Finland. Is that something you would like to say? <laughs> <laughs> or are you too flabbergasted? It's, it's, yeah, it's probably hard to construct a speech at the moment, but I'd like to thank very much to all the board and you and, uh, and also for the people from FMI that uh, basically let me know about this opportunity of putting my idea somewhere out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And, and all three
three winners will get, and I don't have it in the field yet, but they will get a little prize. Um, uh, I only have a picture here on my iPad uh, because it is, a, uh, it is something created by a glass artist in the Netherlands. And um, this is the size you can hold it in your hand. And this is a sundial, so you put it uh, on your uh, uh, windowsill. Uh, and when you place it uh, on the right spot, you can look what time it is. <laughs> so when you have guests visiting you uh, in the afternoon, you don't have to look on your watch whether they want to go away, but you just can look at this thing. So you will get this in due time.